Hey there, welcome to Toy Fair 2017, where we're giving you an exclusive backstage look from TTPM. I'm Chris Byrne. Laurie Leahy. Jen Lynch. And we're in the Lego booth, where we're going to show you Lego Boost. Now, I got a chance to see this very early on, six months ago, but it's making its official debut here at Toy Fair. It's coming out in September. It is so exciting. But we don't know how to work it. I've never seen it. We're going to bring in a guy named Simon, who's going to show you exactly how this works. So this is Vernie, and we can get Vernie to do a little drive. Hello, my name is Vernie. And then we can also get uh, Vernie to pull a prank on me. Pull my finger. Ha ha. And then lastly, we can actually get him to do some shooting. And this is basically block-based programming, so you drag and drop the blocks in order to get him to do what you want him to do. Exactly, so you have a little trigger up here. And then these green blocks here, these are about movement. So if we press this, he'll move back one space. If we press this one up here, he moves forward. And of course, the kids can then put these in a little sequence as well, so that he actually does what the kids want him to do and has the behavior that the kids want to put into the programming. That's pretty amazing. And this is for kids seven and up, right? That's correct, yes, seven and up. Awesome, Lego Boost. Did you have a Teddy Rex when you were little? I did, and holding this one right now is like, is like getting back at my parents for never getting me one. <laughs> well, guess what? There's a new one out, so you can get one right now. What? That's right. We're at the Wicked Cool Toys booth, and they are relaunching Teddy Ruxpin. So this is the original from 1986. that had the cassette in it, and it's really heavy. Well, but like, yeah, they got rid of all of that stuff. So he's really soft, and he's super cuddly now, and he's got. 40 different LCD lighting in his eyes, so you yeah, can change very, his eyes. Lots of expression for your animated. Play. He's got three built-in stories, mm -hmm. then up to 10 other ones that you can download through the app, and um, a lot of yeah. cool stuff going on. Yeah, so it's that same storytelling play that kids love from the original, but in a lighter and like more interactive te technological version, which we're very excited about. Yeah, perfect for today's kids. Yes. Hey Jen, this little piggy went to Toy Fair. Wee 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 wee. <laughs> and I think he ended up at the Moose booth, checking out one of the hottest and coolest innovations we've seen in arts and crafts in a really long time, Chris. This is Unis. It's sort of a combination of balloon animals meets Mr. Potato Head meets all kinds of creativity. And because it's a prototype, we called in the co-CEO of Moose to demonstrate Whoa. it for us. Ooh. Let's bring him in. Lock em, load em, and explode em. This is a brand new game for Moose Toys coming out in August. This is Boom Blast Sticks. Let's let the game do the talking. Last Toy Fair, I was really excited to introduce Snuggles, my dream puppy, and now Snuggles is getting a kitten sibling with Cuddles, my dream kitty, coming out later this year. We're at Jack Pacific, where one of the big trends this year is getting kids active and getting them playing. One of the coolest things we've seen yet is called Mighty Runner. It's part of the little Mighty Gym line, and this is really interactive because it gets kids up and playing with an app-based game that has three different worlds that they can go into as they play, and of course it gets them running and playing and interacting and having a blast. Do you know what this is? Yeah. Yes, it's a Pokeball. Yeah, but Lori, it's not just any Pokeball. This is the new Guest Pokemon Edition game. It's from the Bridge Direct. It's an amazing new game that sort of combines 20 questions with Pokemon. It's got inside it all 151 original Kanto region Pokemon, and it will guess which one you are thinking of. It is pretty amazing. I can read your mind and guess which Pokemon you're thinking of. So sometimes things at Toy Fair are so top secret we can only meet in closed off conference rooms. But I got a chance to bring you back here at MGA Entertainment to show you the newest dolls from La La Loopsie. Now I've loved this doll since it first came out, but what's new this year, it's got a Netflix series called We Are La La Loopsie, which is a huge hit with kids, and the big news, brushable hair. Uh, this has just been a big revolution in La La Loopsie. It's great classic play for kids. We think it's gonna be huge this year.
I'm here in the Alex booth at Toy Fair checking out something really sweet. It's Sweetlings. It sort of takes food decoration into the toy aisle. You're getting to decorate mini toy cupcakes and mini toy cake pops. They all have different characters and they're really cute and sparkly. You're using something called whipped clay so that as you are making your decorations on your little character, it actually does look like real frosting that you would see on a real cupcake. But don't eat them. You're going to want to let them dry and then you can play with them. You can decorate them how you see them on the box or get a little creative and customize them because they come with a lot of different like puffy little accessories that you can attach on. Mouths, eyes, antenna, wings. Really super cute. Different set, small, medium, and the large set which is these sprinkle shops so that you can hold all of your supplies. It's got a rotating turntable. It's really cool. We think that girls are really going to have a lot of fun with this one. So that's our first look at everything at Toy Fair. We're at Folk Manor where they've got great puppets. And you know, one thing we didn't see at T Toy Fair, we didn't see any turkeys. Oh, oh, wait, we did see turkeys. Come check out all our reviews and all our videos at TTPM.